Hello friends, in this video, let's make a game board for Connect4. Okay, so what is Connect4 game? Uh, let's Google it, okay? So, Connect4, Connect4 game, okay? Images. So, right, I guess you might play it uh, before. So, this is, right, the Connect 4. So, the game rule is if you, yeah, the two players, right, play dropped pieces, draw pieces in turn. Whoever uh, connect 4 horizontally, vertically, or diagonally first then yeah he or she wins the game yeah so we'll start uh drawing a board like that like yeah let's use this one okay so yeah pay attention to the <coughs> those those um holes here right the circles is seven right seven each row and the total is there are six rows okay so we can say six by seven um six by seven game board okay or seven by six <laughs> it doesn't matter okay so let's get started command space xcode Create a new Xcode project. Like that. So, yeah, make sure it's iOS app. Okay, next. Just give your name like Connect for Board. Okay. Connect for Board. So, interface is Storyboard. We don't use the other one. We don't use the Swift, Swift UI. We use Storyboard, okay? That's it. Next. Yeah, so here is the location. I put all our um, projects, right? Here is the pulley. Now we'll, we'll create a new one here. Create. And I'll we'll, we'll use our favorite um, 9.7 inch iPad Pro. Okay, so put it here. Um, let's run it to make sure everything is okay. An empty, an empty app. Yeah, it works. Cool. Now. Oh, when I stop it, it's still there running. I think that's the bug of Xcode. Stop it. Yeah. Okay. So now we need to, right? We need to create a, a view to draw our board. So select this one and right click new file. Coco touch class. Yes. So we can use board or oh, capitalize board view, right? Make sure it's a subclass of UI view next. We can accept the default one, right? Location, create. Yeah, it's here. If you like, you can move up to somewhere here. Uh, now this looks familiar, right? The draw method, we'll put our drawing code here show three and now let's go to main storyboard and uh, okay make it a little bit bigger we'll switch the template from our uh, default iphone 11 to like this one yeah ipad 9.7 inch so we can click that to hide it now 
this is big right we can use two fingers to make it smaller you see here like that on the trackpad or you can click here like that good now next let's grab a ui view right from the library ui view you can search ui view like that this guy drag and put it here we can mm -hmm. we can change this background color from here on the right hand side the property panel background color let's say what about mm -hmm. the blue one system yeah let's use that okay so make it roughly a rectangle yeah run it cool so, but we need to set this guy right to our our own view so using this the one two three four the fourth icon here class select that drop down yeah for the view okay now we can start to draw our uh, game board in this one so we need right let's draw our first our first circle here right we need seven in a row totally six rows okay so before that let's define is two constants for the circle center of the first circle here so actually this is our like the most important location of our, our game board right so what is the good name for that uh, I like to use uh, origin x lcg float this one let's put it uh, it doesn't matter we can modify it easily later so what about um, 100 uh, maybe 200 uh, no okay <laughs> doesn't matter this one origin this is the origin of our game board if you float this one maybe 150 so okay so this is our what about the circle size radius right that radius let's use 60 for now okay with all that set so we'll draw like a circle right put it uh, with the center 200 oh that might be too big okay 200 but it doesn't matter 200 and 150 and with a uh, uh, radius 60 okay so mm hmm let circle UI Bazia pass like that so we use this constructor or initializer okay we can hide that one to get a longer yeah a wider screen okay so cg point enter opening parenthesis x like that so yeah we we'll use origin x origin y right radius radius start angle because we'll draw a full circle so we can just use from 0 to 2 pi right cg float dot pi this doesn't matter because uh, okay let's hide this part on also so now we can use circle dot stroke let's see run it nice and i think we can fill with white okay um 
maybe it's too big let's see yeah of course so let's change it to like 40 maybe and uh, let's use white color right UI color dot white dot set fill then we can do circle dot fill like that mm. let's put the stroke after the fill let's see run it pretty good right so now let's use a full loop to draw seven of them okay Mm -hmm. I think we still need uh, another constant for the like distance between each um, between like each pair of the, the circles we can define like the the distance between the centers of a pair and circles okay so that like let's see what's the good name for that this is good okay so let's use um, cell size cell size okay cell si cell side yeah so the diameter is 80 so this one should be a little bit bigger let's say 100 yeah so now let's create a full loop for this one like so we'll need seven of them in a row so zero dot dot less than seven now we can we can cut and put it here so for the x right we need to do i times cell side like that that's it so the i is integer but all the others is cg float so we can auto fix that we convert the i right from integer to a float so it means for i is 0 it will be 0, 0.0 and when i is 1 it will be 1.0 something like that now the xcode is happy with that run it Oh, cool. One, two, three, four, five, six. Mm -hmm. uh, let's set the origin X to make it smaller. So what about, I just like random numbers like that. So this one, maybe mm -hmm. like 121, yeah. Oh, so close. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Cool, right? Now let's use another, right? We need to draw, we need to duplicate this, right? Six times to generate six rows of that. And uh, okay, so if you are picky, you can make this one even smaller, okay? So like 70, maybe. 70 run it so it's more balanced I guess uh, mm -hmm. origin X not yet right so let's put 67 is it good yeah uh, much better um, okay so the last time <laughs> The last one okay now let's create another another for loop okay for so remember because 
we are we want to put this one inside the new for loop so we we'll use a different uh, variable name yeah we can call the iterator right the name of the iterator so this one uh, dot dot that's then six six rows right now cut and paste here remove the empty lines here and even this one make it clean and elegant okay now where do we put the j right we want to control its y right here so plus j times what we'll use the same cell side uh, distance okay so wait for a few seconds then we can auto fix this guy the same idea right the j is integer it has to be integer right because yeah it doesn't make sense we have like 3.5 row no no way yeah now run it tala cool right one two three four five six one two three four five six seven yes that's it we have a gorgeous game board for connect four that's it for today. See you next time. Thank you for watching.